Hey there, my name is Kat. I own a small dog training and grooming business here in Nebraska. And today I want to show you how I groom a Golden Retriever's feet. So last week I showed you the entire groom with Slider, the Golden Retriever. And this week I want to show you with Hank, who is actually a cream colored retriever. He's not quite golden, but he's very adorable and very sweet. Um, I'm going to show you how I groom his feet and what tools you can use and what tools I like. So these are the tools I'm going to be using. Um, you can use either curved shears, um, which I like using because you can get that nice curved shape around the foot, um, or you can use straight scissors, which if I can hold them right. Um, you can use regular straight scissors that come usually come in all sorts of kits um, and they're fairly inexpensive. I always recommend that when you get scissors, make sure that you get them sharpened before you use them. The ones that I got in this Petting Pals kit are not sharp at all. They are straight from the manufacturer um, and I have not gotten them sharpened, but this kit does come with um, straight scissors just like this, but obviously they don't have the cute pink grips on them. Um, but I will show you with the curved shears and the regular straight shears. For paw pads, I really like using these cordless clippers um, just so that you can get as close as possible um, underneath the foot. And I always use it on the lowest setting, so this um, 0.8. It's also very quiet. I'll can hear it. Um, so it's not scary to dogs at all. I also like using a slicker brush for feet more so than using a comb. You can use a comb and a comb does come in this Petting Pals or this cordless clipper kit, but I like how close you can get with the slicker brush. Um, with all these tools, I will put a link in the description box below for everything that I have here, but use what you have available to you. Try not to use your normal kitchen or paper scissors because they're not going to be as good as actual hair cutting scissors. So keep that in mind. I try to do nails first so that when I'm actually trimming the feet, I can get really close. I can get really close. So you're just gonna brush the hair down. You're okay, Hank. So you can get that shape. So with your straight scissors, you're gonna have to make your own curve here. And Hank's nails were kind of long, so they didn't get too short. And then we are going to brush it up. So we can get all those little flyaways that you see there. And you're gonna take it as close as you can. And make sure you're rounding that because you want that foot to look fairly natural. And you're gonna brush it down, and there's your foot. Hank is really nervous <laughs> and very uncomfortable, so he's not putting any weight on that foot. All right, I'm gonna show you how we do, I like to do paw pads um, with the clippers here. Let's see if I can get a decent angle while Hank sits here. I'm trying to let Hank be as comfortable as possible. I don't want him to be too nervous with what's going on. Good 
Boy, Hank. Boy. Good boy, you're okay. There you go. You can see how close that got. I really like that. You can get much closer, but I don't like to take all of the hair out from the paws um, because I want to make sure that it's still protected. So when I'm done with that, sometimes if I see these little hairs here, I will take my scissors again. Sorry, I'm holding Hank up by his leg here. Um, and I'll just kind of clean that up so it looks a little nicer. There we go. There. And it, for comparison, there's both of those feet. This one looks a whole lot nicer. It's freshly done, isn't it, Hank? So here is poor little Hank, struggling with life here. <laughs> You're all right, Hank. Trust me, it's not that bad. <laughs> You're all right. Um, I do have him on the grooming table just so that I can keep him safe. Let's see if I can, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna show you this other foot um, I will show you with the comb and the curved shears. I do like using the curved shears better, but I don't like using the comb. Get some foliage on you, Hank. So with the comb, I'm gonna use the smallest side, brush that down. Curved shears here, I know, Hank. I know. And you kind of go around here which I will clean up after I trim his paw pads. Stop, you good, Hank. I'm gonna brush this up. Try to get whatever angle is best for you. Um, I'm, I know, Hank, you're okay. I am doing this at an angle that is best so that you can see what's going on. So it's kind of awkward for me. But you can see that gets that kind of, that nice round shape to it. I'm sorry if this video is really dark, but it's the best I can do while trying to keep Hank semi-relaxed while we're doing this. Now that I'm done with the paw pad, as you can see how nice and close that is. I'm gonna brush that hair up here. and clean up a little bit around it if needed. Which it doesn't really need a whole lot, but there you go. His front feet are done and they both look very nice. I'm going to show you with my slicker brush. Um, we're going to, going to brush down on this hawk and then we're going to brush it up and kind of out. So it, so the hair is, oh, there we go. So we're gonna brush that, that up and out here. There we go, that's better. Um, and again, you can use curved shears, you can use straight shears, doesn't matter. You're gonna make it even with the pad here and you're just gonna go all the way up the foot and curve it up the hawk here. And you can kind of take it as short as you want, but I like that if you keep it even with this hawk, that 
it kind of makes it a really nice straight line here. So then when you brush it back down, makes it look very clean. Um, and that's kind of what I do to most feet that are hairy, um, that get trimmed. That's what I typically like to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up this foot. And there is your nice clean foot, maybe. So far, I want to like, fix this. There we go. That's a nice clean foot right there. I will go ahead and use my straight scissors and I think you're okay. And my comb. So you can kind of see what that one's like. So I brush it down and then I brush it up here, up and out. Make sure you're brushing it to the back here so that you can get it nice and straight. And then I actually, sorry if I cover this up. Ah, good boy. So again, I'm going to brush this up and out. hold my scissors right. So you see the straight scissors work just as well for this. I just like the feeling of my curved shears maybe. And also you can do the paw pads with just the scissors. That is perfectly fine. If you just wanna go pick up a 10 to $15 pair of scissors and get them sharpened, just so you can do your dog's feet, get after it. Do that, 100%. I would rather you do that than have your dog have some crazy long feet hair that they slip and slide around on because nobody wants that. And these straight scissors that I am using right now do need sharpened. They're not normally this choppy. There we go. That one is all done as well. So we have both the back feet done and they are looking nice. And both the front feet done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and trim his toenails on this side because I forgot to do that and he was um, sitting down. But that is the end of trimming your golden retriever's feet. Hank is all done getting his feet done. I really appreciate you watching. Hank would appreciate if I would let him go run and play with everyone. <laughs> so I'm gonna go let him do that because he's clearly uninterested <laughs> and ready to not be here. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next week.